Uh, this here is Dennis's. You're here back at the Heavenbound Farm, and this here is Dennis's new lid for his reptile collection. All right, Petey. You gonna tell him all about it? Watch him open up your picture. And everybody's saying that the mail is taking too long and all this, that, and the other. I don't know where they're getting this at because I still get my bills in the mail on time. And we still get our packages in the mail when they say they're going to be here from eBay. So if there was something going on with the government, Nancy Pelosi, and the mail, it looks like it would stop our regular packages, not just medication. I just had to get that in there because it I just drives me crazy when they're on there telling such stuff. And it's not to be so, not so. There it is. I guess that must be what the president says, fake news. But anyway, right here is what he said he needed, if it's the right size or not. We will find out directly. And there's the fish tank. He has got to clean it out. Yep, I'm cleaning it out. Been there for a little while. Ain't nothing been in I used to have fish in that years ago. Cobwebs or anything. I think it's a 20 gallon long, what they say. And that there is Miss Diamond. It's a 30 by 12. She had been under the weather, so now she has to have milk every day, and she's been doing good, thank God. She's a house goat. I'm thinking about making her a house goat. Like yeah. people have house dogs, and we'll have a house goat. Some people have house buffaloes. <laughs> Some people have people in the house, too. Yeah, look at <laughs> I'm a house person. Did you want to say hello to everybody out there? Oh, thank you. Let me use my handle. <laughs> lose your lid, dear. I'm going to lose everything. I'll pick it up. Let's see if she fits. <coughs> Let's see if she fits. I'm going to take my now. There it goes. Yeah. Sure enough, Shorty. Uh, a little bit of a gap in it, though. And friggin' things and can't get out, can they? That's why he's gonna put his snakes in. He's out gathering uh, up. Yeah, uh, I like that. Well, I do put some tape on it. I no, I would not put tape on it because then take the paint off of it. What if I held it? Then it'll start frosting. Oh. Yes. Got that off of eBay. And he's going to pity snake. Show him how it lifts up on one side. And oh, yeah, it goes like that. Uh, you can get her to do whatever you need to do in there. And put the lid back down. Yeah, the ringneck snake's going to be going in that. Which I showed you guys in a previous video. That way he can have his snakes. and you can buy them off of, uh, what's that place called? Backwater Reptile. Backwater Reptile. But if you go out and catch them young self in your backyard, hey, you save you a couple dollars there. How much are they, $20 a piece? $30. $30 a piece on there. And snakes? Yeah, and he got them for free out in the backyard. <laughs> Let that whiny brown. That's Bobo. Too. Let him in here. Should have let the people hear him sing. That's what we have to put up with every night at 6 o'clock. I come here and start supper. fixing supper. He starts singing. Bubbo. Good old Bobo. Which one's The black and white one. Petey's daddy. Well, I need to put some tape right there to let it's like gapped open or something. Put something right there. You just don't put nothing up there big enough for it to climb up on to get out. Yeah. <sighs> I'm going to fix all that up later. Yeah. No, you... yeah. Got to get all the farm work done first before you can start playing. Yeah. <laughs> well, finally got it. It's not like a half an inch too long, but if you just, it sits flat on that, though, so I can't crawl out of it. You got a quarry this time, man. Yeah. 
So I thought I'd let you see that. He was really proud of getting that. That's what he... He wanted it for a while. So here we are. I'll take and we'll get back with you uh, when he takes and gets the... Um, Start making a setup and let you watch the setup. Okay, bye bye. Okay, it's a couple of days later after getting the screen lid. I already had to set up once, but then I set up a second time, kind of like the way it looked the first time. But this is the official ring neck snake setup. Yeah, the floor's kind of messed because I got to set it up, so I have some more leaves and dirt and stuff in the floor from setting this thing up just now. But, you know, let me get my light over here. I'll be back with you guys here in just a second. Okay, now it's kind of brighter. We can see it just a tad bit better. But right down here, we got some basic setup needs. We have our little humidity hide right here, which is just a KFC container. We've got a basic water dish. Uh, add some leaf litter between that, make it look a little bit better. There we go. Now we come over here, I got this little board that I found outside for us to use it for a hide. Right there. I'm pretty sure both the snakes are in this rock, which it's a male and a female northern ringneck. I can check that hide. As you can see, there's nothing there. But, kind of close this up. To this side over here, see if we can get some... Get you guys a video of the snakes as well. Set that picture right there for just a second. Bring this right over here. Now it's... Put this lid here up. And I'm going to see if I can find these ringneck snakes for you guys. There's two of them in here, a male and a female. It's, they're both probably close together. Just lifting this up. Right there they both are. Try to get these guys out a little bit. Come here. Yeah, you guys are fine. Now... Let's let them slither around a second, then we'll get some more video footage of them. These are little ring neck snakes. This one here. This is my little female. Right there's the female. And I've had the male longer than I've had the female, which is right here. Well, this kind of... Boop. There comes a pile of the leaf litter. Yeah, I know I disturbed you guys. But... These guys make great pet snakes, especially if you're a beginner. Most people say don't make good snakes if you're a beginner because they're hard, yada, yada, yada. I haven't had no negative experience with these guys, actually. They stay roughly small, which you guys can really keep these in tubware containers, which is what I had mine in. But I just had a random 20-gallon long laying around and had no use for it. Now, the thing about these guys are if you do have a screen lid enclosure like this one that kind of folds up and down, put some tape right here on this end. Well, if this in, because these are thin body snakes and they can't squeeze right through it. We don't have to worry about the middle too awful much. That way you can kind of still hinge it and unhinge it. All that good stuff. But you probably could if you put a piece of tape right there. But you really don't need it because they're not going to stand straight up. Unless you have a bigger ring neck snake. Which these guys can get up to about almost two foot long. And they stay roughly kind of thin. So just put some tape right here to keep them from climbing up the glass and climbing out. And also keep you some like rocks or... For example, I have a toad and I have some baby ring neck snakes and some other two little tubware containers. I set the toad right here and I set the babies on this side to keep some weight on it, keep them from pushing it up and climbing out. But right there's my female. I don't know quite where the male went. He was over in the leaf litter, but I think he might have went into that humid hide just a second ago. Or he went somewhere else. It's hard telling. But as you can see, she's going to try to climb up the glass, which is what most snakes will do. Or, you know, they're trying to light over and kind of scared her just a little bit but they've been doing good in this so far to set up now i think the female may or may not be gravid because i've just been feeding them earthworms and i feed her and the male the same amount of earthworms and she's just been fat for the past couple of weeks so she may or may not be gravid i do not know she is pretty fat for a ring neck snake compared to my other one but Another thing about these guys is they just basically they'll eat earthworms. Other little things will also eat small salamanders, which I suggest is feed them earthworms. 
But there has been some recent studies that shows these guys are not earthworm eaters. They actually eat little small lizards and other small reptiles. Which, I feed them earthworms all the time and they'll take them. But I don't think I'm ever going to offer them lizards and stuff like that. Because I don't like feeding stuff like that. So I got these guys, except for my garter snake. Oh, there comes the male up out of the leaves. But... There's the female, and right here's the male. The male is a little bit longer than what the female is, though. That's actually his tail. He's gonna try to coil up right there, I think. Maybe. Now I'm keeping the screen look covered on here, keeping from getting out and slithering away. Cause he's, for small snakes, they are pretty quick. These guys are easy to care for. Just, all you have to have... You always have to have a little tubware container. It's like I said, I was 20 long sitting around, and... I ordered this screen cover off of eBay so I can keep them in this 20 long. So, I like good stuff. And these, like I say, these guys are pretty basic to care for. They need anything other little false sort of snake species need. Just like smooth earth snakes or a worm snake or a red belly snake. Keep on with this noise as look over. And yes, we do have a baby goat in the house because she is kind of sick. She really can't really do very much. She's just like a dog. She'll even use puppy pads and everything. And she kind of acts like a dog. She'll even try to eat hamburger and stuff like that, which we do not let her. But get from hearing a weird noise look there. She's over just munching away on one of my leaves I had in her first ring next next step, which I have a ice cream bucket of leaves right there. She must have stole one right over there with it. What are you doing, Diamond? That's the wood burn stove right there. That would get her main factor feet for she's ever stank. It's kind of cold out. No reason why all my reptiles are in here. Which right there is the garter snakes in that container. Well, garter snake, rather. But back to... Okay, I hate this stupid light. You have to keep... Ow, you have to keep screwing the light bulb in. Hang on a minute, you guys are going to be in total darkness for about five seconds. Oh, come on. Ow, you're hot. Yee. Ow. Burn my fingers. But, like I said before, these guys are simple, pretty basic to care for. Make great beginner snakes, especially. I wouldn't quite say around littler kids, like toddlers and stuff like that, because they are very fragile. They're smaller snakes. But I strongly suggest supervised handling with these guys, or even assisted handling with these guys, because how their size and how fragile they can be, especially babies. I mean, babies are super duper fragile. Which I have three babies, which are from this year. Well, they were last year's babies. From these guys. I try to do a video on those too. I do have a video on how to care for a baby ring neck. That's when I was keeping them by itself. Now I'm introducing them to the other two from this year, from last year. Uh, I'm do another video on that as well. She's going to coil up right there next to the water dish. And the male went back this way, probably underneath those little rocks back here. But. That's going to be it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Just another good little look at this setup here. But we will see you guys in the next video.